Hey guys, Rav here, and today we're looking at 201 tips and tricks every day Z player must know coming into 2021. We've got a mix of some new ones and some of the best old ones. As always, if you do enjoy this type of content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe if you change your mind. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. Infected are attracted to light. They are also attracted to sound. Use this to your advantage to distract infected by throwing an object. Alternatively, you can crouch or even crawl past infected to reduce the chances of them seeing or hearing you. You can combine this tactic with an attack. A heavy attack on an unaggroed infected will do more damage. This is probably a good time to mention that zombies are dropping a lot of supplies now, making them really good for gathering basic equipment. Remember, if an infected does aggro, it can attract more with its scream. This means it's sometimes better to kill it where it stands, rather than running it around, which may end up attracted more. You also need to remember infected do not have stamina, so it can easily catch up with you over long distances. You may or may not know, but you can actually bury infected bodies with a shovel. This is especially useful when covering your tracks. I only found this out recently, but you can actually craft improvised rope by using a knife on a pile of guts. Alternatively, you can combine two stacks of six racks. You can then combine this rope with a burlap sack to make an improvised bag. This bag can be further upgraded when combined with short sticks. Short sticks and long sticks can be gathered from a bush. You can either use your hands or a knife. While using your hands, you have a chance to cut yourself. Wear gloves to prevent this. Remember, a long stick can be broken into smaller sticks with your hands. You can also sharpen a long stick using a knife. This allows you to attach food to the end of it. You always spawn facing north. These greenhouses are really good for food and drink, as well as these small boats. Clouds always head to the east. Power lines lead to towns. Riffy, a spawn point, spawns military loot, as well as these containers commonly found across the coast. When desperate for food, these trees will spawn fruits. Stones will spawn along these trails, as well as train tracks. Two small stones can be used to make an improvised knife. Alternatively, you can smash a large stone into smaller stones with a pickaxe. You can get a large stone from using a pickaxe on these rocks. You can hear a gunshot up to 3.5 kilometers away. A recently placed landmine will make a ticking sound. During this time, it will not explode. Do not disarm a landmine with a shovel. This will cause it to explode every time. The best way to disarm a landmine is to shoot it from afar. Shooting a gas station will also cause it to explode. There's an unmarked military base just west of Krasnstav. Castles are good locations to find snipers. These hunting shops are really good for hunting gear. Take every opportunity to check them. Not wearing shoes will make you nearly silent. However, will eventually cause you to cut your feet. If you're ever short on bandages, don't worry. Your blood will eventually clot within five minutes. However, this is not to say you won't bleed out in that time. Keep checking your shoes as it will gradually wear down, eventually causing them to ruin if they aren't frequently repaired. Shoes can be repaired with a leather sewing kit. A leather sewing kit can also be used on vests. Poxy putty is used to repair helmets. Every other item of clothing is repaired with a normal sewing kit. If it can be repaired with a sewing kit, it can also be repaired with duct tape. A sewing kit or duct tape can also be used to repair a tent. In addition, you can use a sewing kit to heal a cut. Grenades will not explode in your hand. A grenade will explode when it becomes ruined. This means you can shoot a grenade to cause it to explode. You can use this to create a chain link explosion. You can also place a grenade in a fire, which will explode when it becomes ruined. A grenade has a fuse of 4 seconds. You can place an unpinned grenade on the floor for a few seconds, picking it back up and pinning it again to shorten the fuse. You can dive on a grenade to protect everybody else around you. The EDG-5 grenade has a maximum radius of 9 meters, whereas the 6M7 grenade has a range of 15. It takes 6 grenades and or landmines to destroy a wall. When raiding, place them all down at once and just unpin one. This will create a bulk explosion. 
Shooting a wall right where the frame is will damage both the front panel and the frame, speeding up the destruction process of base raiding and reducing the amount of ammo used overall. When raiding, don't forget to dismantle wooden crates for nails on planks. You can actually repair damaged walls with a hammer and basic building resources. If you're ever struggling to find storage for your base, you can use fireplaces. A stone fireplace will last for two days. An oven will last for seven. Drop barrels in water for a perfect stash. The same can be done with small crates. You can make a hidden stash by using a shovel on small containers. Cut down a tree and bury the items where the trunk was. This will create a hidden stash on the server restart. If you are ever struggling with food, you can make an improvised fishing rod out of a long stick and row. To go with this, you can make an improvised hook by using a knife on bones. You don't actually need a worm to fish, however it greatly improves your chances, so gather worms by using a knife, pickaxe or likewise on the ground. When fishing you get carp from freshwater and mackerel from the sea. Mackerel is considered better as it's more substantial. You can actually fish out of small water sources like fountains or these animal troughs. There's a chance to fish items such as cooking pots, wellies and compasses. When on low blood, lay down and don't move. This will reduce the chances of you falling unconscious. When laying down, you burn nearly zero calories. You can label a blood bag by taking blood from a person who is aware of their blood type. You become aware of your blood once you have used a blood test kit on yourself. A blood test kit can also be used on a bag of blood. O negative blood can be given to anyone. People with AB blood can receive from anyone. Take a saline bag to regen blood five times quicker for three minutes. A saline bag will also give a lot of hydration. EpiPens will temporarily give you unlimited stamina. This is useful when holding your breath during sniping. EpiPens can also be used to instantly wake up an unconscious player. Using morphine will remove any limp for a minute. Morphine will not fix a broken leg, but will allow you to walk on a broken leg for a minute without falling unconscious from the pain. Codeine will buff your speed when injured for 5 minutes. It is quicker to bandage with bandage dressing and rags. You can store an emergency rag as a gag. However, keep in mind, gagging a player will muffle their speech. When taking a hostage, you can also place a burlap on their head to limit their vision. A car radiator will smoke if it is less than half full. This means you only need to fill it halfway for it to be functional. Removing a radiator will cause all the water to disappear. The water dial in a car is reversed compared to the other dials. There is a working clock in the Olga. You can drive with any item in your hand. A pipe wrench can be used to repair car engines. You can find wheels and doors and hoods and such at car wrecks. Carry a wheel in a backpack to be able to jog. Keep your gun in your clothes or bag as it allows you to draw it faster than from your shoulder. An explosion will throw off your aim. Chamber a bullet before reloading for an extra shot. Jumping while reloading will drop the mag at your feet. Guns aim up when close to a surface. Take off suppressors to help produce this. You can use a hacksaw to cut the end off a BK-18, Mosin or a double barreled shotgun. A weapon description will tell you what ammo it uses. You can make an improvised suppressor out of duct tape and a bottle. These can go on nearly every rifle. Remember, you can load an extra shot into the pump shotgun. You can shoot both shots from the double barrel. You can also shoot both shots from the blaze. Sprint twice as often for half the time. This allows you to have a reserve of stamina. Your character is heavier when wet, reducing your stamina. Jump when wounded as it is slightly slower than a full sprint. Carry too many items and you won't be able to sprint. You can't carry heavy items while your legs are broken, even with a splint. A splint is made from two sticks and two rags and will allow you to walk again. Do not try to run with a broken leg if you don't have a splint as you will fall unconscious. Don't forget that grass doesn't render in past a certain distance. Never lay down while being shot at as it makes you an easier target. Master the art of the zigzag.
You can place your heavy items or most useless items in your bag, which you can drop in an emergency. Avoid wells when possible, as they are a hotspot for PvP. It is faster to fill up a bottle and then drink, than to just drink. And it is also a lot safer as you can move while drinking from the bottle. Remember to keep drinking and eating after you have hit the white on the stats, your stomach can hold a lot more. If you're ever struggling to find seeds, you can actually cut seeds out of a vegetable using a knife. A hand drill kit can be created with one piece of bark and a stick and this is a great alternative to matches. Bark is harvested from a tree using a knife. Another great alternative to matches is a road flare. Once it is lit, it can be used to light fires. You can build fires within these ovens within houses. Be aware, smoke will rise from the chimney giving away your position. However, this may be your only option as a fire requires at least 5 meters of headspace to be lit indoors. This slot will allow you to grill food and this slot will allow you to dry fruits and meats which will extend its lifetime because meats and fruits will begin to rot in your inventory after a period of time. Your best solution is to eat this as soon as possible, remember your stomach can hold a lot. Aviators still make you a hundred times cooler. If you really want to risk it, you can actually jump over a landmine. You can also jump over bear trap. Landmines and bear traps will now last for seven days. You can disarm a bear trap with either a shovel or a stick. You can combine the garden line with animal pelt to make a leather. This leather can then be used with a sewing kit to make a leather bag. Leather can also be used to make a shelter. Make a shelter kit with four short sticks and rope. If you can't come across leather, you can actually use tarp to make a shelter. Sitting within a shelter will make you warm. Warm items will not heat you up in your backpack. You can reheat ruined heat packs by placing them into a fire. The same can be done with burnt meat. Your melee weapons will receive damage when attacking a zombie or player. Zombies can set off traps. Verticality is your best friend. Use this to create interesting angles against your opponents. You can climb anything 2.3 meters high. Placing an item in a container will protect it against bullet damage. Putting an item in a full cooking pot will cause it to become drenched. Items within 60 meters of a flagpole will not despawn. You have two types of zeros, one for the iron sight and one for the scope. The line on a PU scope is the height of a player at 1000 meters. A hunting scope has a minimum zero of 200 meters, which may cause it to go over target at close range. Unboxing a damaged box of ammo will give you pristine bullets, so don't unbox them until you have to. You can cook on fire embers. Adding kindling and reblown on a fire will relight it. You can extinguish a fire with water. Never stand still, you don't know where a sniper lurks. These trail maps will show you your exact position. When hungry, a soda will actually give you a decent amount of nutrition, don't underestimate this. The opposite can be said for fruit and veg, giving you a lot of hydration. You can ruin any item by placing it within a fire. You can despawn items completely by burying a body with the items on it. All parts from a player, guts, fat and meat can cause kuru. You can tell if a player has kuru because their character will twitch and make an uncontrollable laugh. I recommend not eating any fat you find on another player, it may be human. You can't tie people up while they perform animations. If a restrained player is trying to escape, punch them to cancel the struggling animation. You make more noise while wearing a backpack. You can unpin a smoke grenade and then attach it to your vest. This can be useful when rushing buildings. An assault bag can be attached to an assault vest. Wearing a vest will increase quick bar slots. If you are unconscious, you can still see your quick bar slots. Items will disappear from it once it is removed from your character. This is a good way to determine if a player is looting you. You can conceal the light of a chem light by placing it within your character. You can refill containers at gas pumps. This can be used to poison people. You can talk through a radio on the ground. A handheld radio has a range of three kilometers. A base radio has a range of 20 kilometers. Altar radio will send a signal to any radio throughout the map. Take your own blood for emergency use later. Here is an extra tip for making it all the way through the video. This tip's an absolute lifesaver, but when you find a container such as a canteen or bottle, there's a chance it may be infected with cholera. If you can afford to, empty these containers, disinfect them with either alcohol tincture or disinfectant and then refill them at a well. This will ensure that they are safe to drink from. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a sub and a like would be greatly appreciated. Before I go, let me know down in the comments if you have any tips of your own. This has been Rav. Thank you for watching.